It's February of 2022. Wild Child is sailing her way north through the Caribbean. We sailed up from Dominica to Ile de Sainte of Guadeloupe. In this video, we sail from Ile de Sainte up to the Jacques Cousteau Marine Dive Park on the Midwest side of Guadeloupe. Is this good? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Bye, Ile de Sainte. It was lovely. We spent two days there and I got to visit boat friends. We are now sailing out to the main island of Guadeloupe and we got ourselves a little wind. Main traveler to port. Main traveler to port. We get to do Lexi's favorite thing. You're a good girl, thank you for your service. see from the instruments we're 12 over 6 at a wind angle of 72 60 70 degrees wild child's a moving and Guadalupe is that away okay let out the Jenny go 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 good lock it up Bye Ilde Saints, bye Roxy. Bye. And not two minutes after we set sail, Captain Lexi is bored already. Should we sing? Should we dance? Should we act crazy? Should we listen to podcasts? Should we watch TV? Sailing is exciting. Except if you've been doing it non-stop for four years, it gets kind of boring. I'm bored. I want to do anything else but this. But this is my life, isn't it? We did have great winds for the first few hours in the gap. Sailing was perfect, as pleasant as sailing gets. Oh look, a monohull! And it's sailing! How sexy is that? Oh look, another monohull! And it happens to be sailing! Oh look, another monohull, full sails, happens to be sailing. I had spoken about this in a previous video. Look on the French islands at the farmland. There's actual agriculture, they grow food on their islands. But for some reason on the English islands, they really don't farm very much. They depend on imports for almost all of their food. And for you real sailors out there, how about a little bit of sexy sailor porn? How sexy is this, huh? Okie dokie, well we finally hit the wind shadow in Guadeloupe. Of all the Caribbean islands, Guadeloupe has the biggest and sort of nastiest wind shadow because the island's shaped like a butterfly so there's two ranges of mountains that the wind has to cross. The wind shadow is 10 miles offshore. So the sail from Ile de Sainte to up to Guadeloupe, we had 15 to 20 knots of wind in broad reach, like it was beautiful sailing. Right now we're running full full mainsail and only I got 80% Jenny out and we've just reached that line where we've entered the wind shadow of Guadeloupe. Now I'm five knots of wind doing three. And that's just part of sailing. Like I knew I could do the first half of the journey fast and I knew the second half of the journey would take all day. So I think we are only um, 
10 miles from where we want to go and we just lost the wind now we're moving two knots this last 10 miles is going to take five or six hours the rest of the day if I have racing crew we throw spinnaker There's nothing you can do to avoid the wind shadow of Guadalupe except stay more than 10 miles offshore. But if you're only trying to get 10 miles off the coast, up the coast, it doesn't make sense to go 10 miles offshore to do it. And if you guys remember that I tell you that at a certain distance you get backfill winds where the winds go back to fill in the the wind shadows. We just had a wind shift. The eternal sailor question is, where is the wind? The water's talking to me and it's saying bad things. Okie dokie, good morning sailors and sailing fans. It is Sunday, February 6, 2022. Wild Child is currently anchored off the west coast of Guadeloupe near the Jacques Cousteau International Dive Park. Beautiful snorkeling and wonderful diving here. I figured as long as Wild Child's in the area, shouldn't we go take advantage of it and go snorkeling today? So we're gonna use the water ca waterproof camera and we're gonna bring it diving with us. So we're going to show you this very cool dive park. This is Pigeon Island. The water around it is the Jacques Cousteau International Diving Park. Beautiful clear water and beautiful sights. Let's take a break from sailing and enjoy some snorkeling in a world-class dive park. this dive park wonderful is not that it has the most splendid coral in the world it's that this water is 40 feet deep and the visibility is fantastic as a gift to my Canadian friends who might be enduring a winter that looks like this how about you enjoy scenes like this with me? For hundreds of euros, you can rent dive equipment from the local dive operators to get you a little closer to the rocks on the bottom. But really, it's the same view that I have with my snorkel gear.
The narcissist crews on shore harassing people, politically re-educating the masses, as is his specialty. For those of you trapped in winter, are you feeling any better yet? I hope this little escape to the tropics with me has helped improve your day. Forget your stress. Be stress-free like this parrotfish. <laughs>